How's it going guys? This is Jeff with Encore Coatings. I want to tell you guys today about our latest product line. It's called Miracle Mist. It's actually a two product system for motor remediation. And what comes with motor remediation, if you do it the right way, is first of all removing the mold, which can be difficult to do sometimes, even with straight bleach. Uh, the second part of motor remediation is of course preventing it from coming back. So that is the whole premise of the Miracle Mist product line. You have the cleaner. It's an instant mold and mildew remover. In seconds, this stuff will remove green algae, black mold, all the tough to get off stuff, you know, that we all deal with, especially here in the Southeast or if you're in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and then the second part of this system is the protectant. This can be thought of as an invisible coating that creates an environment where mold and mildew do not want to grow. And this will last up to three years. So today, we're, we are at this old house here that has many different surfaces that's just covered with mold. Um, we're going to clean this for an elderly woman and eventually we're going to come back and protect it with the protectant so hopefully she doesn't have to deal with this any longer. Um, this is also a great system if you, you know, have had to pay a pressure washer over the years, you know, several hundred dollars to come pressure wash your house. We're going to show you how to do it yourself with just simple tools you can find at the hardware store. So first of all, I just want to show you guys a different, a couple different applications on this house that are just very molded and what Miracle Mist can do for that. Here you have these columns covered with black mold. Simply spray Miracle Mist on it and wait. You know, the longer you let it sit there, the better. Now this does have bleach in it and a lot of pressure washers a lot of house cleaners do use straight bleach and that's okay to an extent uh, but what the bleach molecule has a hard time doing is penetrating wood surfaces so it will get what's on the surface however if you have that embedded mold in the wood grains or even fabrics and things you're going to need a little something else to get in there and lift that out and eventually the bleach can do its job so we consider this as an enhanced bleach technology where you not only have bleach but you have high grade wetting agents which is can be thought of as a conditioner for the surface to allow this to penetrate lift the mold and mildew stains eventually where bleach can neutralize it at the surface as you see here so we've been sitting here i don't know 30 seconds and you can see how well this works i'll hit it again so you can see the the effectiveness of the stuff i mean you Eventually we'll rinse this off, but it doesn't get any easier than that. We're going to work our way to the back of the house, get some window seals, some soffits, things like that. Show you, some, show you guys. All right, guys. So now we're in the backyard under this garage enclosure, and it's kind of a close quarters thing. If you're in tight spots like this, that's really what these spray bottles are great for. Uh, this would kind of be a lot to haul a sprayer back here. And we've been hitting this soffit here that has years of mold on it. Uh, you can kind of see where we've done it already. I want to show you how fast Miracle Mist works. So, here we go. You can see the penetrants at work, the wetting agents and the detergents that will bring all this stuff to the surface so it can be neutralized by the bleach. And when we rinse this clean with water, you're going to have bright white paint again. This hasn't even been rinsed yet, but Eventually, we're gonna do this whole house again with all the spraying equipment, the water hose and everything like that. And uh, we'll show you pictures of this stuff completely clean. All right, guys, we're back at the front of the house where we started. Uh, you can, I wanna show you this. This is what we started with, this column. You can see, this hasn't even been rinsed off with water yet, but ever since we moved our way to the backyard, we've been kind of letting this sit and just work. And you can see how white this is turning. It's gonna look even better once we rinse it off. Um, we showed you everything the little spray bottles are good for, the close quarter, just around the house stuff. But if you're looking to get around hiring a pressure washer to clean your whole house, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some type of sprayer like this. You can do a simple handheld sprayer, or you could do something like this, which is a little more higher quality. It's, it's actually a backpack sprayer, so you can carry a lot more cleaner on you, um, so on and so forth. So, But this is just fine this is going to run you about 12 bucks at your hardware store so when we get into the nitty-gritty of all this that's when you would buy miracle mist by the gallon of course and we're going to dump this into these sprayers 
start working on these window seals, this other column, the windows over here, the gutters, everything like that. Everything's covered with mold out here. So now before we get into spraying the cleaner through these sprayers, we really want to protect these plants over here because remember Miracle Mist has a little bit of bleach in it. So to minimize the damage from the bleach, what you can do is simply just wet these down before and after you apply the cleaner. Uh, we're going to soak these down real well and this will protect it from any dripping bleach off the gutters and the high areas like that. And then after we apply the cleaner, we'll come rinse these down again just to get any residual bleach off of them. And this is this will work fine if you want to get plastic wrap and cover your pretty flowers. That'll work too. But uh, we'll show you some pictures of us spraying this with the sprayers. All right, guys. We've hit all of our tough to get spots with the little spray bottle. We pre-wet all of our plants, and now it's time to get to spraying. So remember, this has a little bit of bleach in it. So try not to get it on your clothes. You remove the cap. This is a little spill-proof safety cap here. You can remove that. And what we're gonna do now is just kind of get the, the higher spots on the house here. The, the front door here is very, very moldy. Um, hopefully we get some good results out of this and you can see how fast it works. So I'm just gonna start with about half of this for now. should be fine. I'm gonna screw this on real tight. Make sure your release valve is closed and then just start pumping this up, build some pressure. And you're gonna be able to adjust your spray nozzle as you wish. You know, you're gonna have uh, a, jetty, a steady jet stream option and if you close it down a little tighter, you'll have more of a fine mist. So keep that in mind, it might help you out in different areas of the home. All right, let's go up here. You can see how fast it's turning, guys. Doesn't get much easier than this. And another thing, guys, I mean, to really clean this, let's say we were just using a traditional pressure washer method. This is old wood, and this is an old house, so this is a lot less invasive then let's say 3,000 PSI from a pressure washer that might damage this old house. So this is what they would call somewhat of a soft wash. All right guys, so I think we saved the worst for last. This is a little gable on her back garage here. If you look closely, I mean, it's just covered with black mold, years and years worth. We're gonna show you how quickly and how easily you can get rid of this stuff just by spraying it with Miracle Mist.
Now this is bad. This is worst of the worst right here, guys. And again, a pressure washer, if it could get it off, it would still be damaging this wood. So keep that in mind. This is by far the, the worst anybody should run into, but it doesn't get any easier than this. Look at that. It's already turning really, really white. And again, we're gonna rinse this off in a second. 